So I want to welcome you to our gentle stretch. We're going to start out um, sitting on the ground and we're going to cro uh, cross our legs, right calf over left shin. And we're going to start out with holding on to our knees and we're going to take the rib cage in circles. So as you're starting the circle, you're inhaling. And as you're finishing the circle, you're exhaling. So just synchronizing the movement with your breath. And do about five breaths. And then five breaths in the other direction. Good. We're going to bring it back to center and you're going to take the left hand away from your hip, root that right hip down. You're going to inhale the right arm up and over. Press into that left palm as you get that nice stretch all the way down the right side of your body. And if you'd like, you can find your stretch here. Move around in this shape and take the arm where it wants to go to help you open up on that right side. I can feel it all the way down my hip as I'm moving forward and back. I'll feel it in the hip and also just loosening up the upper back and the shoulder. And on your next inhale, we're gonna take it back up to center, exhale to the other side, rooting down that right palm, taking the left arm up and over, rooting down through that left hip. And also find your stretch here. And notice if there's any tension in the neck, just observe where the head or the eyes need to look so that there's no tension in the neck. And as you root the left hip down and you're reaching that right arm over, really feel that entire left side just elongating. And from here, we're going to follow the breath. We're going to inhale it forward, exhale, open. Inhale forward, exhale to the other side. Just going with your breath. There's no rush, take your time. If one side feels particularly good, feel free to stay on that side, maybe an extra breath. I want you to use your intuition here and listen to what your body needs in this moment. A few more breaths. And we're gonna bring it back to center. Let's roll the shoulders. And let's roll the neck. Other direction. and bring it back to center. Okay, we're gonna take the fingertips out in front and with the legs still crossed so the heels are underneath the knees, we're gonna take the fingertips out in front, take a deep inhale 
And as you exhale, start to walk it forward. Keep the sit bones rooted down as you start to lengthen the spine and keep the neck as an extension of the spine. So just feel the neck lengthening forward. Think of the chest reaching forward. Deep breaths, feel the opening in the hips. And on your next inhale, we're gonna walk it back in. We're gonna extend the legs, shake it out. And we're gonna cross other, other way, left calf over, right shin, heels come underneath the knees. We're gonna take the fingertips out in front, take a deep inhale as you lengthen the spine. Exhale as you walk it forward. Keep the neck long. And just notice how this side feels. It may feel more open. It may feel a little more tight. Just breathe into the parts that are getting stretched here. Deep inhales, long exhales. And feel the hips relaxing and opening with each exhale. And on your next inhale, we're gonna walk the hands back in. Extend the legs, shake it out. And then we're gonna come onto all fours and we'll stretch it out in some cat cow. So have your palms underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips with the knees, feet, hip distance apart and the arms and hands shoulder distance apart. So we're going to inhale as you look up. Exhale, round the back, press the ground away from you. Letting go of the neck. Inhale as you look up, pull the chest through. And exhale, round the back, press the ground away from you. Go at the pace of your own breath. I'm gonna invite you to either continue going through your cat cow, or we can do a variation where we start to take the body and go in circles. And you can make this circle as small as you'd like. You can make it as big as you'd like. Exploring the space around you. Explore going in the other direction. Also explore how far the hips go back. Maybe they go towards the heels. Maybe they just go back halfway. See what feels good here. If you needed some extra support under the knees, I would suggest placing a blanket or a pillow underneath if you're needing more support. And observe how the neck is feeling here. Are you carrying any tension? Is the head in a position that's relaxed or is it holding tension? 
where does it need to go so that there's no tension in the neck? And how is the breath? Is the breath flowing? Is it being held? And then from here, you can take the rib cage side to side. And just see how this feels as you take the rib cage side to side, feeling that stretch through the side of the hip. Almost like you're creating a U shape as you press the rib cage out to the side. And then from here, we can go in sort of a elliptical shape. As you uh, press up, you're gonna go to the side and press down. So it's going to look like the cat cow that we were doing, except we are now going in elliptical shape. And there's no right or wrong here. So I want you to experiment with just how your body naturally wants to move here. And if you'd like to incorporate the neck and the head. And Experiment going in all different directions and just see how it feels in all these different directions, all these different shapes. How does it feel to maybe bend the elbows, sway the hips? Lots of variations here. And then from here, I'm gonna invite you to take a child's pose. So we're going to take the feet together, separate the knees and let the chest fall between the thighs as you reach the arms forward. Bringing the forehead down onto the ground, elbows out to the side and just take some deep breaths here. Just feel the ground, the support of the ground, your head being supported, your arms. Just take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale it out through the mouth. <sighs> take as many of those breaths as you need. Feel free to stay here for a few more breaths. <sighs> On your next inhale, you're gonna start to walk the hands back in. And we're going to sit down. We're gonna extend the legs. We're gonna take that right heel in. We're gonna take it out to the side. We're gonna press the bottom of the foot up against the inner thigh of that left leg. We're gonna take the fingertips alongside the leg. 
you're going to keep this this front foot flexed and we're going to start to inhale lengthen and exhale walk it forward keep the neck long deep breath Now I'm going to invite you to take this left hand to the inside and open up this left leg. Then separate the hands, shoulder distance apart. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, see if you can walk it forward. And if you can't, that's okay. I want you to breathe into it and feel the stretch in the inner groin. On your next inhale, walk back in. You're going to use your left hand to cup the left knee from underneath and guide that leg back up. You're going to bend that left knee, extend the right leg forward. Keep that right foot flexed. Fingertips come out in front. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reach the chest forward. Deep breath. About five breaths here. On your next inhale, you're gonna take the right hand to the inside of the foot, open up this right leg, separate the hands, shoulder distance apart. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, reach the chest forward. Keep the neck long. Deep breaths, about five breaths here. On your next inhale, you're gonna walk it back in. Cup this, use your right hand, cup the knee from underneath, guide it back up. And we're gonna take the feet together, knees out to the side. And instead of bringing the heels in towards the groin, we're actually gonna move the feet forward. So you're creating a diamond shape with the legs and we're gonna stretch more of the hips here than the groin. So we're gonna inhale, lengthen, Exhale, we're going to fold. Deep breaths. Releasing any tension in the neck. Three more breaths. On your next inhale, we're gonna slowly rise. Take the palms underneath the knees, gently guide the legs back in, and we're going to lie down onto the back. And I want you to take the knees over the hips, rock from side to side, rock in circles. It's gonna massage out the low back here. Taking the feet down, hip distance apart, take the arms out to the side. And we're going to windshield the knees uh, from side to side. So we're going to 
take a deep breath, take a deep inhale here. Exhale, knees down to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, knees down to the right. So the feet stay hip distance apart and we're just simply taking the knees side to side. Going with your breath. If one side feels particularly good, stay there for a few breaths. Really listen to what's happening in your body. Just a few more breaths. And on your next exhale, you're going to extend the legs down and separate the legs, separate the hips. You're going to roll the shoulders back, tuck the shoulder blades and draw them down the back. Have the arms just a bit away from the hips, the palms face up. Wiggle the feet and the legs side to side, releasing any tension in the legs. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Hold it at the top and exhale out through the mouth. Again, inhale all the way to the top and hold it and release. <sighs> Take as many of those as you need. And start by relaxing your feet. Relax your legs. Relax your hips. Relax your belly. Relax your rib cage. Relax your lower back. And let this relaxation travel all the way up through your spine to your upper back. Letting go of your upper back and shoulders. Relaxing your arms your hands. Relax your neck. Let go of your jaw. Relax your tongue.
Relax your eyes. And relax your mind. Know and feel your mind, body, and spirit are now completely relaxed, at peace, and working in harmony. Slowly bring your awareness back into your body, back into the space. Start to wiggle your toes, your fingers. Stretch your arms up overhead and stretch from fingertips to tippy toes. And hug your knees into your chest. Gently rock side to side. We're gonna gently roll off to our side and just pause there for a moment. And then gently press yourself up to sitting. And we'll take our arms up overhead. We're gonna join the palms together and exhale them down to your heart and begin to reconnect with your breath. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. And may all of our thoughts, our words, and our actions contribute to this happiness and to this freedom. Namaste.